Welcome to What's an Issue? In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to issues. You'll learn what they are and see some different types. You'll also learn some of the things you can do with issues and how they can be organized. Finally, you'll learn how to create issues. An issue in JIRA is a task. It could be a small task, like change the light bulb in reception, or a large task, like replace every office lamp in the building. It all depends on your project and how your team decides to break down your work. Every issue in JIRA is unique and belongs to just one project. The issues are the project tasks. When an issue is created or the work starts, it's assigned to a team member. However, the assignee may change as the issue gets worked on. For example, a developer codes the fix for a bug, then the issue is transferred to another developer to review the code. In addition to issues and workflow, each type of project aims to achieve different results, so they give you different ways to look at issues and project information. Let's revisit our users from the previous tutorial for each JIRA application and see their projects. Hi, it's Kevin. In our Scrum project, I work on bugs, stories, and tasks. Bugs are defects in our software. For example, I recently fixed a bug where the Find button wasn't working in our Planet Locator app. Stories are the features we work on when creating a new app. They describe functionality from a user's perspective. For example, I'm working on one now to create an easy-to-use Find a Planet screen in our Planet Locator app. Tasks are any unit of work that's not a story or a bug that we need to do as part of our development project. For example, updating the design specs. Sometimes I break down stories, bugs, and tasks into smaller units of work called subtasks. This is really useful when we want to track the time spent on each of these smaller tasks. For example, as part of creating the Find a Planet screen, I need to create a Find button. It's a little tricky, so I created a subtask to log time for that. Hi, this is Caroline. In our IT Service Desk, we work on service requests, incidents, problems, and changes. Service requests are probably our most common issues and cover things like requesting new accounts, software, hardware, or access. On our service desk, we get a lot of requests for new mobile phones. An incident is created when something goes really wrong with an important business service. For example, the other day, our Teams in Space customer web store went down. We needed to get that back up and running as fast as possible to minimize the impact on our customers. A problem is open when something isn't working right, and it keeps recurring. For example, I'm currently investigating a problem where our purchasing system reports keep crashing. A change is a request to change one of our systems. For example, I just worked on a change request to upgrade our production web server. It had to be reviewed and approved before I made the change to reduce the risk of outages. Hi, this is Lewis. For our marketing campaign, we just work on JIRA tasks. These are any piece of work we need to do, like ordering our campaign t-shirts. Sometimes, we need to break down our tasks into subtasks. I ask my team to do this when I want to track how long is spent on each step in a fairly complex task, or if one of my team members needs to assign a subtask to another team member. For example, Sophie on my team has to organize the campaign launch party, but she's assigned the catering subtask to Brandy because he's worked with the caterers before. You've now seen some of the issue types you get by default. You may see different ones if your project is a different type or if your project has custom issue types. Your JIRA administrator can create custom issue types to meet specific needs. For example, an HR project that deals with prospective employees could have an issue type of candidate. If you have a type of issue that you use frequently but doesn't really fit into the existing issue types, ask your JIRA administrator if they can create a custom issue type. An issue in JIRA holds all the information about that particular work item in one place, like a summary of the issue, what type of issue it is, how important it is, who created it, who's working on it, and its current status. All this data is stored in fields. 
These are common fields you'd typically see on all issue types, but there are many more. What fields you see in an issue depends on the type of issue it is and how your JIRA administrator has set up fields and screens at your site. Here are some common actions you can perform to enrich all issues. Use issues as a single place to store all the information about them. You can add attachments to issues such as a screenshot showing an error or an invoice file. This keeps all the important information easily accessible from the issue. You can link an issue to another one. For example, a problem request in an IT service desk can be linked to the bug that caused it in JIRA software. By linking these two issues, the support engineer can easily navigate to the bug issue to see what's being done. Also, the problem request will automatically be updated when the bug is fixed. When you create an issue, you can estimate the time needed to complete it. And then, as you work the issue, you can log the time you actually worked on it. This is important for project planning, tracking and reporting. There are a number of ways you can organise issues and projects. Each project type has unique ways to do this, but within all types of projects, issues can be organised into versions and components. Versions are typically used for software projects to manage release cycles. Issues are associated with the version of the software they're created or fixed in. For example, all the issues that need to be worked on for version 2 of the Planet Finder app will have the fixed version field set to 2. Components are a way to categorise issues within the project into smaller parts. For example, the Teams in Space development project might have components for UI, database, localization, and login. Each issue has a component field which is populated with one of these. A marketing project might have components for videos, brochures, mailers, and clothing. Issues can be organized into both versions and components. These are useful to quickly find all issues of a certain component or version or to use in project management reports. Let's see how users further organize their issues in JIRA software and JIRA service desk projects. Hi, Kevin again. We're a Scrum development team, so we organize our issues into epics and sprints. An epic is a large body of work. It's feature level work that encompasses many user stories. For example, one of our epics is a full Teams in Space website redesign and launch. A sprint is a smaller set of user stories that our team expects to finish in a fixed period of time. We use two weeks, but typically it's anywhere from one to four weeks. Hi, it's Caroline again. On our service desk, we organize our issues into queues. When customers submit requests, they're all automatically placed into queues. These are shared so all our support team members can see them. We can quickly see what to work on next by monitoring the unassigned issues and critical incidents queues. I can also manage my issues with my own assigned to me and waiting on customer queues. Now let's create an issue by clicking Create. This example is for a software project, but the steps are similar across all JIRA products. However, in JIRA Service Desk, customers typically create issues from the Customer Portal. The Create Issue dialog has several fields. You may see different ones on your system. Recall that a JIRA issue is simply a collection of fields. Each of the fields can contain data, some are required, note the red asterisk, and others are optional. When creating an issue, your job is to decide what type of issue it is, Give it a name, assign it a priority, and give it a description. Once you've done this, click Create. The issue is automatically assigned a key, associating it with the JIRA project. If you need to create multiple issues, save effort by selecting Create Another, and JIRA opens another blank issue right on the screen. This can save time because some fields are automatically populated from the previous issue you created.
Let's take a few moments to review what we have learned. What are the takeaways here? There are many different types of issues depending on the type of project you're working on. Make the issue the single place to store all the data about the issue, including attachments, time logs, and links to other issues. You can organize issues with versions and components, and further organize software projects with epics and sprints, and service desks with queues. If you'd like a project to practice in, you could ask your JIRA administrator to create a project with sample data. Take some time to apply what you've learned in your own project. Open your instance of JIRA, navigate to a project, and view an issue. What's the issue type? What's the priority? Does it belong to a version or a component? View the workload and any attachments. Is it linked to any other issues? Now create an issue. Note the key for the issue which is useful for finding or linking issues. View the issues you've created by clicking Issues, Reported by Me. They'll appear on the Issue Navigator. Check out Atlassian University for more great JIRA tutorials.